evidence to show that 30,000 years ago, humans travelled from what is now called Taiwan to some of the southern islands in Japan. All this without maps or modern boats. To test this theory, a team from the University of Tokyo set about to recreate the journey. They wanted to know how do Paleolithic people arrive at such remote islands? How difficult was their journey? And what tools and strategies did they use? One of the main hurdles would have been navigating the Kuroshio current, one of the strongest in the world. The team first hypothesized that Paleolithic people used rafts, but after a series of experiments, learned that these rafts are too slow to cross the Kuroshio and are not durable enough. But in 2019, they set out in a dugout canoe to reach an island that they couldn't see. Built from a single Japanese cedar trunk, using replicas of 30,000-year-old stone tools. They paddled it 225 kilometers from eastern Taiwan to Yonaguni Island, using the sun, stars, and swell to guide them. It is thought that Paleolithic people would have spotted Yonaguni on a clear day from on top of the mountains of Taiwan. When they descended to the coast, they would no longer have had sight on it, but would be aware of the strong northern current and use it to guide them, along with other natural cues towards the new land. The 2019 crew paddled for 45 hours. But in the end, they reached their target. The team have also conducted a number of mathematical simulations of the journey under different conditions, using different starting points, seasons, and strategies. The experiments showed that Paleolithic people must have had some advanced knowledge of seafaring and navigation in order to make this intense crossing. <laughs> ま、常に何かやるたびに新しい発見ですね、この実験っていうのは。ですね。多分その先にはたくさん見えるもの、学ぶものって出てくると思います。でもそれはある意味僕が決めることじゃないと思ってる。